This is called the staircase paradox. Imagine you're standing at the corner of a perfectly square park. It's exactly 100 feet long and 100 feet wide. And your mission is to get to the exact opposite corner in as short a path as possible. But you're stuck in a grid. You can only move north or east. Absolutely no diagonal movement. Well, first you try walking all the way up the side and then all the way across the top. You travel exactly 200 feet, obviously. But looking across the field, you think to yourself, there has gotta be a faster way to do this. I mean, geometry tells me that the diagonal distance is 141 feet. So why do I have to go 200? Well, you have a bright idea. Instead of taking one big turn at the corner, you cut through the middle using a staircase pattern, northeast, northeast. And now you are much closer to that diagonal line. You're not straying to the edges. It feels like a shortcut. It looks faster. But if you pull out the measuring tape and add up all those vertical steps, they equal 100 feet. And same for the horizontal steps. 200 feet path. That's weird. You think, maybe I just need to add a few more steps. So you double them. You triple them. You decide to break the resolution of the universe. You make the stairs smaller and smaller and smaller. You make them atomic. You create a jagged path with endless tiny zigzags. At this scale, your path looks identical to the diagonal line. It lies perfectly on top of it. Your eyes tell you we are finally walking a straight line. So logically, if it looks like the diagonal path, surely your path will just cover 141 feet now, right? Wrong. You see, you didn't shorten the rope. You just crumbled it. No matter how much you zoom in, those microscopic steps are still steps. This is a concept called Manhattan distance. In this grid-based world, you can replicate the shape of the diagonal, but you can never replicate its length. So have we disproven the Pythagorean theorem? Not by a long shot. We really just proved that looking straight and being straight are two very different things. There's gotta be a better way to say that.